Okay, this is class three, my classroom, and here we have the benches. They are so badly in need of repairs. Or, or um, if we could get new benches, that would be so good, because right now they are not appropriate. and this is my son Nashan. He attends the Mongo Hall Big Six School and I just want to say thank you to Jaja Foundation for the support they have given to the Mongo Hall Big Six School. We have gotten some chairs, bed as well and I have heard that they will be continuous support in the school, electricity and all of that. So I just want to tell them how much I appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'm Jerome Fusey, building some decks for the past four months now for Mango Hall, basic school, Mahua, Bradley, and we appreciate to see where the foundation do for the school. Thank you. Me is Craig, aka Delroy, representing Jaja Foundation. Just wanna say, um, we just start out this thing and now it reached to a point where it's very nice now. Didn't get any help when we asked for some sponsor around and we didn't get any help. But Jaja Foundation is there for us and we give thanks to Jaja Foundation for everything that they have done. They make some desks and they're looking about the ball field, we're gonna have a manga youth, youth field. Hi, this is Dr. Trevor Dixon um, from the Jaja Foundation. We're here in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. This is actually Emancipation Day 2017, August 1st. And I just wanted to let uh, all our supporters all our sponsors and know that we are here in Jamaica and delivering on our promise. We, we came to you, we raised funds to support uh, the children of Jamaica. Right now we did a project for the Mango Hall Basic School down there in Westmoreland, near Little London in Westmoreland. And we were able, because of your fundraising dollars, to, su to supply the school with benches, uh, tables, school desks, and freshly paint the classroom for the incoming year of September. So these are about 60 students and they will be met with uh, a new environment for them to learn. We're also gonna be renovating the kitchen so they can have a proper meal to eat. And we're gonna be tiling the floor. We would not have been able to do this without the support and the donations of you, our supporters. If it wasn't for your support of the raffle tickets and for the gala, we would not have been able to do these wonderful things for these children who ask for nothing. Once again, thank you for your support and stay tuned as you see how your fundraising dollars went to support the children of Jamaica. Their ages from three to about six years old. And we think investing in these children in the earliest part of their life is very important. And that's why we chose this project. Uh, it's not just an educational project, it's a health project. Because the health of our children starts with education and giving them a fresh uh, meal in the mornings for them to have before they can actually start their education. So nutrition is also very important and we're actually going to be able to renovate the kitchen giving them a brand new uh, uh, countertop to work on and we're going to also be able to give them a refrigerator and this will give them a, a chance to not just only uh, have a meal in the morning but they can provide a meal for one week by having a refrigerator. Things that we take for granted. And we're also going to have to help them with electricity and we're still figuring out ways to do that. But I'm sure with your support we can change uh, a lot in Jamaica. And today is Emancipation Day and we're here in uh, St. Anne's Bay uh, where we stand in front of the Marcus Garvey statue. And we think it's very important that, you know, to help Jamaica as Judge Foundation is all about Jamaicans abroad helping Jamaicans at home. Thank you for your time.